What is up, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Postscriptum. But more importantly, we're going to be talking about what the community is doing to keep our beloved game afloat. Not only that, but what more can be done. And hey, man, don't forget to watch your step. Okay. Oh, that's a mine. Ooh. All right, of course, welcome to the Milsim Tax Shooter and Historic Gaming Channel, home of the weekly Steam Key giveaway. Now, well, first things first, for those of you that don't know, or those of you that have been sucked up in a vacuum for the past several months, the entire Postscriptum dev team was sacked, fired, cut, let go, shit. Can and only one remains the lead dev Breeze Who, who apparently enjoys the occasional Mai Tai down in Thailand. But we're not going to get into anything personal. But at this point, I'm starting to wonder if we ever will get at least an announcement. You gave up, you gave up. Let us know these things. It's funny how us gamers and the community is so deserving until all of a sudden we're not. A proper goodbye would go a long way. All right, hold on, I'm coming for you. Don't give up. But I digress. Let's talk about going forward. What are some options? Possibilities? What scenarios could we see play out from this current situation? So we're going to go dessert first. Start with the best. Or at least what I think would be the best thing that could possibly happen from all of this. And that would be Breeze Who, or whoever owns it, simply opens up the source code. Makes the source code public for any and all to tinker with. Hell, keep selling copies for all I care. But with the source code, you could not only continue to add content as a community, but some whiz kids could really go in there and even do things like much needed optimization, work on and improve the network code, all the little things that everyone wants done so desperately. But it would make for adding modded content so much easier. We could bring back things that were cut out of the game, like towing. Hell, we could even play the game mode advance and secure again. Well, now I'm starting to get ahead of myself. So back to the topic at hand. I'm digging down their fob. I'm now digging down their fob. Oh shit, taking shots. One of the best case scenarios, at least in my eyes, would be that they just open the source up, open the source code, and let us get our hands dirty. To me, that would probably be the best scenario, at least from where we are at now. So what are some other things that could happen? Breeze Who hires some more guys, and development continues? Hell, I would love that. In fact, he would be completely redeemed in my eyes. Water under the bridge. Or, there's some legal mumbo jumbo going on that none of us is aware of, which is a high possibility. After all, Postscriptum was built on the squad base code, a proprietary code owned by OWI. I wish we were allowed to know, but I have a feeling OWI has a lot to do with the silence. But we can sit here and speculate all day. Of course, it's nothing but speculation. If you ask me, why wait? Why sit around on our hands, crying about what could be, when we can take matters into our own hands, and we the community pick up the flag that was so unwittingly thrown to the ground. We could pick up this postscriptum flag and carry on. In fact, there are still a lot of communities still playing events. Every weekend you see the servers popping with regiments and units filling out their event servers, which brings me to a topic that, albeit is in its infancy, but I think could be very huge for postscriptum, and that is the idea of a public One Life event. I am currently in talks with some of the guys over at BR1, but this is going to be one of those things where it's just more the merrier so please 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 go down into the comments and sound off if you are willing to help out in this endeavor we need people that know how to administrate an event somebody that knows the codes to put into console to basically you know smoothly run an event we could use graphic designers for promotion got a cool voice maybe we can get you to commentate but i really envision this as being something big every night it will be streamed we'll start out with one night a week hopefully grow to it add more nights but I basically envision it as a 40 vs 40 now the game modes will vary but we will use some of Idalos and Internados mods we'll try some modded game modes for instance the classic assassination or escort style maps where one team will have a VIP and you must get them from say
say the southwest quadrant all the way over to the northeast safely escort your vip across the map without the other team killing them and of course you get one life which adds to the immersion really gets the blood pumping and adrenaline flowing and if you get killed you simply have to leave the game however you can jump onto the stream and watch how it plays out of course if anybody has experienced squad ops i'm envisioning pretty much the same thing for postscriptum of course there will be little differences being that the world war ii weapon set is completely different so on and so forth but on paper i would love this to be just like squad ops what squad ops was for squad not to mention the player count could be boosted just like squad ops boosted squad's player count we would run all of this on the postscriptum realism mod where we have access to tank interiors dynamic weather all the cool stuff that comes with the realism mod we could use idalo's mini game modes there's one where a small convoy must roll across a map stopping the secure different objectives that could be a real fun one so definitely drop a comment if you would like to be involved in any way or if you just want to encourage the thought definitely come through the discord the boogie 5 discord below hit me anytime feel free to jot down whatever you're thinking maybe put it in the ideas suggestion section but i would love to get this thing going postscriptum ops but moving on i do think that could help bring a lot of attention to the game and bring even new players as crazy as that sounds right now but moving along something we as a community must do is to use what we already have several communities i know br1 for example has modded map servers we need to play these modded map servers at least on the weekend maybe pop them saturday and sunday but if we have two or three servers full i feel like one of those should be a modded map server we can't just keep playing the same market garden maps over and over and not get bored so leave the newer to novice players on the og servers and us veterans people who've been playing for a while let's go play some of these modded maps there is so much creator content out there that we've only scratched the surface of i know the good man chrismo has made four or five different maps and we've barely played them i mean there's everything from the historic saint low with its massive cathedral to the fictional Rommel, which is basically the last scene of saving private ryan there's so many cool maps out there and we're playing the same ones over and over and over again why if you see a handful of people in a small modded map server jump in there and seed it log in go eat dinner go run a mile or something and come back we need to seed these servers guys anyway that's just a couple of ideas i just want to initiate a conversation here whether we carry it on to reddit the official discord my discord my comment section let's start talking about what we can do as a community to pick up the pieces and carry on i was getting flooded with the dms and comments saying oh man i come from hell at loose and i wish i would have come sooner oh man i wish i didn't wait so long to try this it's hard to go back to hell at loose now all this game had to do was stay alive and the potential was endless with more players would come more modes more content but let me stop i do hope that we as a community can at least get the most of what's left of this and i think there's a lot left we got shifting sands the north african campaign we've got a lot to bite into and we're still just nibbling <laughs> anyway y'all have heard me say it a thousand times this is literally the freaking game i've waited almost 40 years of life for i'll be damned if i just sit idly by while it freaking rots sign the petition below save postscriptum come on guys it would be different if it was a bad game but it's too good of a game let's face it the only people that don't like it are the ones that never gave it a try the ones that came in happened to be on the losing side got their shit pushed in and said it was a terrible game anyone that's given this game a proper try loves it and that's a fact it's got a great community people use comms respectively and that's hard enough to find in the gaming world i feel like we've gotten four or five years out of postscriptum i think we get four or five more we just have to rally as a community so yeah even if you just say one word or post one letter drop a comment consider it my petition if you stand behind postscriptum drop a comment let's get a thousand comments going on this one video go ahead breeze who book another flight to thailand we'll take it from here hee <laughs> All right, guys, I hope everybody is optimistically looking to the future like I am. 
So real quick, in summary, we as a community strictly volunteer, and with the help of BR1 and their servers, we will be looking to start a weekly public One Life event. That's right, the first and only public weekly operations where all is invited. All right, guys, I want to give a special shout out to my channel members, the Milsim Minions. Consider joining the ranks, support me and my channel, help me get the Milsim genre out to the masses. Also, for a little incentive, all three tiers of membership gets you doubled the entry in every week's giveaway that's right 25 cents a week could help you land a 40 dollar valued copy of beyond the wire make sure you're subscribed ring that bell turn on notifications there's no better time to be a viewer as we have a plethora of steam keys to give away i'm not going to list them all out now maybe watch an older video just know there's a bunch <laughs> all right boys good luck to everybody long live postscriptum i'll see you boys in the next one y'all be good to each other